another move. But I'm going to give uh, Jack a better introduction here in a few seconds. But I want Jim to speak uh, about what flying these warbirds means to him with these famous people. Jim? Hey, everybody. Nice day, huh? No rain. No rain. What a sacrifice of animals. No rain. Um, Baker, come here for a second. So, this is a crazy company in that I'm the CEO of the company, the president of the company is a big uh, aviator himself, and uh, so when Tom and Connie harassed us about uh, putting in some dough to make this whole thing happen, um, we were just happy it wasn't more money. So <laughs> to be honest, we both said yes, but you got a, a major league aviation company. It's not often that I get to uh, talk for these two great Americans, and so uh, I'm gonna take it for all it's worth. Jack was uh, leading me around uh, this morning on two flights we already did this morning, and uh, so we were sponsoring a car. This goes back, I don't know, five or six years ago, and I was going up to meet D. Jack Roush, and I get there, and he, we landed at his hangar, and he's like, wanna go Mustang fly? Like, hell yes. <laughs> so, a guy I don't know, there's no stick in the back of this thing. We're doing like, I don't know, whatever V and E is, but it's approaching 500 miles an hour below the tree line in this dive and it was like, God damn. <laughs> so I had to buy me one. And then uh, Jack, uh, Jack interviewed me because you know his view of owning a Mustang is that you're steward of a very important piece of history you know, of which, I don't know, let's call it roughly 100 or so flying. And uh, so I guess I passed the interview and uh, I bought the, uh, the real crow, not the faux crow. Um, <laughs> you know, well, here's the thing. So when I bought the airplane, he said, listen, I'm gonna put it in the contract that you can never change the name of the airplane. That's that important. So I'm like, okay. What he doesn't tell me is he's building a B model and he's gonna like steal the A back. <laughs> but you know, I thought about it and said, that's pretty cool to have both a B and a D, um, you know, painted as old crow. I, I, I think that that's a, I mean, it's a great honor to Buzz. And so, you know, just before I moved to the real guy, um, you know, Jack does so much for the Mustang community. He's like, the Merlin builder, he's making pistons, connecting rods, valve guides, valves, all about making the airplane a better, more reliable airplane. And all of us who fly Mustangs, um, we would really be in a shift if it, uh, if it wasn't for guys like Jack. But Jack, in particular, um, really does so much for the Mustang community. And so being his friend, um, it's made it so much better for me because I met all the people here and get the con. It's really great, and so it's just so much fun. Then, of course, I get to meet the man, and uh, you know, so I went to Ember Riddle and became a fighter pilot in the Air Force, F-16s, um, and did that for seven years. And you know, the, the biggest thing you can say about Bud is. He's a fighter pilot, and the guy who's done it, and uh, for real. So, you know, I, maybe that's 
all I can say is I sort of hand the mic back. Well, it's good to have one on Jack, but is Bud is a fighter pilot. Thank you, Jack. Well, I'm glad you touched on uh, Jack's accomplishments with the Warbird community. I'd like him to talk a little bit about the difference between the Grouse engine on these airplanes and the original uh, Rolls-Royce Merlin built by Packard. Uh, Jack Roush is a great American. He's a true patriot. Uh, all of you NASCAR uh, fans know who he is. Uh, but anyway, it's my great honor to introduce Mr. Jack Roush. 